Yo guys, this is Duane here and welcome back to a prediction video. Tonight Holland is going to play Germany and they are going to play in Kharkiv again. You already seen the UEFA promotion video in the first prediction video I did. Um, I wasn't really right with that score. Denmark won against us. So we have to win against Germany tonight. It's going to be a really tough match because Germany is probably one of the favorites to win the Euros. So let's jump into the match highlights. I played a prediction game. I predicted it's going to be 2-0 and you see Robin and Boateng ready to kick off the game. Um, I think Holland is going to get the early lead. I think Robin is going to get a nice tree ball and is going to rush up Neuer and going to do his speciality with his left curve shot. Just a big rush on the left flank like he always does. And the second goal is going to be a very lucky goal. I'm not sure if Holland is going to continue with the good play in the second half. I think they're getting a bit nervous, so um, it's a bit of a lucky goal, and that's why they try to recreate. Um, hopefully, it's going to be 2 0, guys. And just leave your comments about what you think the score will be. And I want to end the video with a very special saying by Martin Tyler and Andy Gray I heard while I was playing this game. So guys, enjoy the game and I will see you guys in another prediction video or another video I'll be doing later on. So guys, thanks for watching and enjoy the match. Andy, that, yeah, good team spirit within a, within a camp. That's a winning team. Every winning team has a good team spirit, good togetherness. Unless it's Holland, they can be winning games and they can still fall out with each other. It's very true. I don't know really what goes on inside that Dutch camp sometimes. Uh, I don't know whether they the, whether they do have uh, big clashes of personalities in that dressing room, whether the managers need to be stronger, not allow that to creep in. Sometimes, Clive, you've got to get rid of some of the better players if they're a disruptive influence in the dressing room. I wonder if that's not happened enough down the years. Perhaps too many players have got too much to say. That could be their problem. No player's bigger than the team.